Hi there, thank you for tuning in to Joy in the Journey today. I'm Beth Davis, I'll be your host. And we've got a lot of good things to talk about today because God is behind it. God is behind Joy in the Journey. So with God on our side, we always have a lot of things to talk about. And I am joined uh, today on the program with Sue Landis and Linda Skelly. I almost forgot your last name. <laughs> no, not really. I just about said a different Linda. I know who I meant. <laughs> That's right. We just said that, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, you know how sometimes it just kind of delay happens. there. It but happens. it came out. Yes, it God is good. He gave yeah. me the right matter. <laughs> so thanks, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Are we ready to roll? Yes, we oh, are. Yes. All right, because they're mm -hmm. anxious and waiting and uh, wanting to hear what God's going to talk about today. Mm -hmm. So um, let's talk about some faith issues. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we're all believers. We all attend the same mm -hmm. fellowship at Faith mm -hmm. Harvest um, and uh, out here on East Lincoln Way. Amen. And our mailing address, I don't like to say we're in Orville because pe people tend to think of in town. We're not in town. That's our mailing address, Orville, Ohio. Mm -hmm. So East Lincoln Way. Um, and we're all sisters there. But, you know, I think about some of the things, you know, that come up on us that we want to talk about. And I'm thinking not everybody, you know, is at the same place mm -hmm. on their walks. Mm -hmm. there's, right. there's people that may watch Join the Journey that don't even have a relationship with God yet, but desire to, and God is moving, and, and you get to these places where you just know something's not right. You mm -hmm. remember that in your walk where mm -hmm. you knew that they're just, you're looking for something, but you That's don't right. know what it is, and you're trying to fill it, and eventually, you know, God gets you to that point, you know, mm -hmm. where yeah. you know that you need somebody. You know, there's those kind of people. Then there's mm -hmm. new people in the Lord, and. Mm -hmm. And so it's just good to always talk about a variety of things, you mm -hmm. know, not just thinking that it's all oh, we know about this That's because right. there's always different levels to it. Well, in the words living and active, something that may have um, hit us at one point in time, mm -hmm. ministered to what we were going through at that point in time. And another time, the same scripture mm -hmm. right. can um, be a rhema word, a word for you that you need in that season and totally be different and unique True. Um, mm -hmm. from yeah. the prior Amen. situation. So Amen. Mm -hmm. I like it. So we're going to just <laughs> talk about faith right. and we're going to start out with questions and we're just going to, you know, jump back and forth and, you know, the way you join the journey, it just happens, you know, that mm -hmm. God just moves through us like the Holy Spirit, which is in us. For those of you who have never heard that before, the Holy Spirit resides in you mm -hmm. when you receive Christ. These are just basic things, but, you know, somebody just must have needed to hear it because I didn't plan on saying that. You know, when you receive Christ as your Savior and Lord, then the Holy Spirit takes residence in you, and then you are led. You live a life led by the Holy Spirit's That's voice, right. you know, giving you direction. That's right. So we will start <laughs> and then see where he takes it. All yeah, right. Um, just start with some questions here. Uh, we want to talk about faith and wherever else the Holy Spirit takes this program mm -hmm. today. Um, but a lot of people maybe not even have an understanding, maybe don't have an understanding of really what faith is even. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's just start like with that, you know, mm -hmm. what's faith? I mean, people hear that word, you know, I mean, I heard it most of my life and didn't really realize until I became born again. I mean, you can have faith na naturally or supernaturally, right? Right. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we have faith things in the natural, like we have faith that chair's going to work when we go sit mm -hmm. on it. Yes. We have faith that uh, when we get in our car, it's just going to turn over and go, you know, mm -hmm. and take us places. Mm -hmm. You know, right. there's so many things we have faith in, mm -hmm. you know, that we don't even really understand that we realize what, what it is. That's natural. Yes. But we're talking about the supernatural kind of faith. So mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. is faith? What is faith, supernatural faith? Well, I use a lot of times just the, the um, truth about salvation and how salvation is a plan of God and how we receive it is through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm and that when we die we get to live with him eternally in heaven and so if we can believe something that, that seems like a fictional story thank god it's not mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but it, if we can believe for that then we should be able to be at leave and accept all the things and the promises that god has for us in here and that's how we attain that obtain them is by reading the word hearing the word and recognizing that there's something god wants you to have today or the next day, and, and he just wants to fill you full of his word because that's where we grow in our faith by knowing his word and in difficult situations and circumstances, um, we need to know that he's gonna be there for us. Right. He's not gonna leave, you, leave us. So to me, faith is also learning how to accept and believe for the other things, the other thing God promises in his right. word, right. like the Holy Spirit. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Also, I think that faith is the subject of things hope, you know, hope for. But you know what? I always tell people, 
if you want God to do something and we don't have the faith that he's going to do it, why should he do it? Mm -hmm. Because I'm looking at the fact that if I want him to accept the fact that I'm believing in him for whatever it is that I want, I have to believe, you know, in my heart all through my life of everything I do and desire in my mind to know that I know that he's going to do it. If I don't believe it, like I tell people, why should he do what he, whatever it is that you ask me? Because if you don't have faith of that mustard seed, it's almost like saying, why should God do it? Because he says things happen by faith. And if you don't have the faith, it's kind of hard for God to say, okay, they don't even believe in me. So why should mm -hmm. I do it? And faith pleases God. It makes him happy. Yes, Because we look oh, yeah. to him like you look to a spouse. Like you love that spouse and whatever you want that spouse to do. We, um, we honor that spouse to whatever it is That's that right. we want. <laughs> so we have to honor God in the same way. That's awesome. That is good. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you mentioned that because that's how Hebrews, the book of Hebrews starts mm -hmm. out with talking about that. That faith is a substance. Uh, substance, I have written in their foundation of things mm -hmm. hoped for, the things that we're hoping mm -hmm. for. Right. for. It's the evidence of things not seen. Right. You know, because this is an unseen walk. We don't right. always see. We have to That's believe. Right. Like what you said, Sue. Mm -hmm. you know, we, if we're able to believe that mm -hmm. Jesus Christ died, was sent as a baby, mm -hmm. and was raised as a, you know, to be our Savior and take, the, you know, take our place, if we can believe that without seeing it, mm -hmm. you know, because Thomas didn't believe it, you know, back, no, he didn't. if we want to look back into some things we mm -hmm. talked about last night, even, you know, Thomas was a doubter, you know, he's like, hey, I, until I see him, mm -hmm. I can't believe, you know, until mm -hmm. I can touch, touch and feel his mm -hmm. holes, I, I don't nails. know about you guys, yeah. you know, I, I, I gotta it. see it. And, and doesn't the word say that blessed are those that have not seen and still mm -hmm. believe? So yes. we're believing by faith, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, uh, you don't have to believe it if you don't want to believe it, but hey, what do you got to lose? That's right. You know, you got a lot to lose if it's true mm -hmm. and oh, you yeah. didn't accept him. <laughs> yes, and if yeah. the Bible says to believe it and you want to honor God, you have to believe mm -hmm. in order for God to come through with all his mm -hmm. blessings for you, yes. whatever it is it might be. Mm -hmm. He wants to do it and he asked us to act like a child mm -hmm. and come to him that's for good. whatever it is that we want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. why little kids are more blessed than we are with those. <laughs> they know they're going to heaven and... <laughs> God looks at them. That's why I love watching a little kid's movie where uh -huh. they're such a blessing. Yeah. And God, some, even if God t told them certain things, there was a certain one on back a while ago. And I just get so touched by these movies because it's amazing how God touched these kids to heal people. Mm -hmm. And I guess the, the man had told her, her aunt, grandpa told her that if you believe in your heart mm -hmm. that whatever God tells you and, and God will come through. And this little girl has such faith. Mm -hmm. Does mm -hmm. she start bringing things back alive? <laughs> yeah. She's a believer. Yes. That's, that's some powerful faith. Mm -hmm. She had faith that it would happen, and it started happening, and everybody mm -hmm. started seeing the blessing, and everybody's at her house. Wow. And there's something else I think we need to add to that is just the fact that faith mm -hmm. um, works by love and by believing. Mm -hmm. And... Um, we have to know the will of God. Mm -hmm. If we don't know the will of God, then how do we know what to ask and believe for? Right. It's not God's will that I'm married and I see another man that I feel like God says I should be married to, <laughs> that I would get divorced to mm -hmm. marry that man because mm -hmm. divorce is not part of God's plan. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to know the will of God. It's mm -hmm. not just some kind of faith walk where I believe I'm going to get this or that. Right. And, I'm right. believing for a million bucks. Yeah, okay. and he can, he can do that. Don't well, get, yeah, he can yeah. do that, but that's not. But you got to be at the right place in your yeah, walk right and have understanding of you know he may drop that into your account, but mm -hmm. it's not going to be all yours. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. you might receive part of the blessing, mm -hmm. but he's probably going to use your account and, and need you to execute where he needs it. That's right. That's with right. wherever who that's needs right. it, you know. That's right. And that's how God operates. It's not just yes, all for he you. Does. Not didn't mean to interrupt you. No, that's no, that's good. And also that if we know the will of God, that's where faith begins, that's right. where the will of God is made known. If you know that God's will is that your marriage is going to be restored and, and he wants you to be together and he purposed for you to be together, and right at the moment might not look so good, right. mm -hmm. but if you know that, then you can begin to, to ask God to do that in different ways, like um, praying for your spouse or believing that he's um, going to uh, be a part of... Uh, God's kingdom. Maybe he's not walking in God's kingdom yet, that's but true. you know, when you know that that's what God wants, he doesn't want anybody to perish. 
He wants all to come to knowledge. acceptance, you know, of, mm -hmm. of who he is. Mm -hmm. So that's, true. Um, that's where we can start doing some warfare mm -hmm. when you know warfare. the will of God. Church, somebody say warfare. What What's on that? earth are you talking about? <laughs> Warfare's mm -hmm. got to do with faith. That's true. <laughs> What's the name of that movie? I, there was a, mo a really good movie on that. God's Not Dead? Was it God? No, oh, it's no. Uh, something about marriage. And oh, okay. Because she was in the war room praying. And it's war called The War Room. Oh, it's called The War Room. Oh, it's called The War Room. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. That's a okay. good movie to watch. If you haven't mm -hmm. seen that, mm -hmm. maybe that's, that's a good movie. That could be something that maybe, that's one <laughs> maybe increase mm -hmm. your faith. And mm -hmm. being, she had a battle with restored. that devil. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way she put all those papers oh, on the yeah, wall yeah, yeah. to remind her what to pray for and how to fight her battle. Mm -hmm. That's why I love that song, How to Fight My Battle. Yes. Because yeah. you cannot fight that battle without God. Mm -hmm. Can't and do it in the flesh. And the cool thing is, mm -hmm. it's, we already have victory. Mm -hmm. Amen. We already have, we know that we have, and we know we have what we ask because it's according to His will. That's right. And that we come before That's His right. throne That's with right. boldness mm -hmm. That's right. and thanksgiving and praise because He, yeah. wants, to, he wants us to have the promises. That's true. But I think that a lot of times, I think even me, I was like, you know, as getting to know God, I think you have like a little fear at first. And then because you feel that you're not where he wants you to be. But mm -hmm. it's all about building that relationship. And then once you build that relationship with him, mm -hmm. now we start to have faith and believe in everything that he do. Yes. Then we start to ask him and start trying to depend on him for everything. Because if we don't, like you were saying, if we don't do that, now we're trying to do things in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And if you try to do it in the flesh, we always mess stuff up, okay? Mm -hmm. So I learned that I try to teach myself to always go to God, mm -hmm. you know, over whatever the situation might be, mm -hmm. and then leave it there. Every time you pray for something, leave it with God. Have faith that you know he's going to come through with it. Mm -hmm. And I know for a fact that that's the way me and my sister and them has taught ourselves that we know that we know that God is going to come through for us <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. because that is faith. Mm -hmm. If you don't have faith of that little mustard seed, it's kind of hard for the, you know, to talk to God and to believe that God can mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. right. And so like I'm, I've been teaching myself to go to God first, just like she yes. was saying, mm -hmm. that person, that spouse or whatever that might be your partner might not be saved. And so that makes it a little complicated, but you're trying to, you got to keep praying for them. Mm -hmm. and hoping that you can touch them in some kind of way yeah. that they will surrender. Because if they don't surrender, that means that you're not getting all you're supposed to get. And the man's supposed to be the head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be over the woman. But if the man ain't doing what he's supposed to do, then that woman has to step up and do that part. Mm -hmm. Somebody was asking me about uh, women's teaching. And, you know, they were saying, well, this preacher, you know, got a little, you know, the one guy was complaining because the woman wanted to teach. Uh -huh. And I said, the reason why this women's teaching and preaching is because the man's <laughs> wasn't doing their job. <laughs> okay, because if they hadn't been doing their job, then the women's wouldn't have to step, step up. up to the plate. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, if God chooses that they want, he wants the women's to do it, mm -hmm. then we are nobody to say anything, to step back and be quiet because the church is full of women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right. That, that that's is. right. And but, it's the Holy Spirit that does the teaching anyway. So that's it right. doesn't make any difference what, well, who it is. If it's a male or a female. Right, right. And, but my, some, my belief, you know, that's some my Some people opinion. make a big deal out of it. And well, it's yeah. It's not a big yeah. deal. Well, I think you have to understand the circumstances when, um, who was it? Was it Paul that was saying that? He, that a woman should never be over a man. Right, right. You have to know the situation in that right. time, what was going on. And mm -hmm. from my understanding, it was that the men sat on one side of the church, the women sat on the other side. And when the minister would be ministering, the women would be like, hey, honey, what's he mean? Walk by faith. And, and so they were like busting out. <laughs> right. uh, they weren't in order. Right, it wasn't right, in order. Right. right, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. No. And so mm -hmm. that's what I have heard and tend to understand. Uh. And. Pastor Jerry, he has a really good point that who was one of the first evangelists? That's right. It was Mary. Yep. She yeah. went and told. She saw the tomb was empty. Mm -hmm. Went and told. And he met her mm -hmm. there and mm -hmm. she started it. She did. So, hey, it's not got anything to do with <laughs> But Like she was saying, you know, you have to, everything in that Bible, a lot of times, like, things get misinterpreted mm -hmm. and people blow it out of portion because you should go to God about it right. and pray and let God give you the answer to whatever the right. situation might be. Right. Because it's, I think so much false information is getting out there and I think that's what the Bible's mm -hmm. saying to be careful 
you know, because yeah. you can have a person all upset over something that's not what he's really saying, and that's why we're supposed to pray for the knowledge mm -hmm. and the wisdom mm -hmm. to understand yeah. what God is trying to say right. to us. Or if you're stating something, make sure, like I've heard people say, now this is just my opinion, right. mm -hmm. and that makes sure that it's right. not something you're saying that, you know, it's, it's in the word, you're just saying it's my opinion. Mm -hmm. and we can all have opinions. That's right, yeah. you can have things. opinion. Yeah. Well, you need to be noble, like the Bereans were noble. Mm -hmm. You don't just believe everything you hear. Right, um, right. that's right. Good intentional Christian, teachers and preachers and pastors and apostles and evangelists, we don't, they don't have it all together. That's right. And so you have to ask God, okay, this is what I'm hearing, God. What do you mean by that? You have to search the scriptures daily mm -hmm. to yeah. see if what's being taught mm -hmm. is, is true. And God, God's, he's going to let you know through his Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. If you, you kind of like, ah, oh, that doesn't sound quite right, then start to do some research. That's mm -hmm. right. Sometimes he just speaks to you in the night. And oh, yeah. tell you to go look at something, and all of a sudden, there, there, answer right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Confirmation. Yes. A lot of times he, he will come through. But like you said, you know, people, you know, you have to really get into that Bible because mm -hmm. it's very important, you know, if you want to learn about faith, faith is all about this Bible. Mm -hmm. Well, what I hear somebody saying is, mm -hmm. I don't understand. What do you mean? I can't understand the Bible. When I read it, I don't oh, understand. I'll tell it. you. I had to tell the Lord, I don't understand this Bible. Could you tell me what is this saying? <laughs> the and this and that. I'm like, I don't understand. And that's what a lot of people's problem is. They say the Bible don't make sense because you didn't ask God for you. wisdom yeah. and knowledge to understand what is that Bible saying. Then everything will come to you because he said the Bible was written for the Christians. And definitely if you're not saved, you're really struggling trying to read that Bible. Oh, yeah, you don't have the Spirit of God in you, so you're trying to understand it through your knowledge and mind. Right. And you're not understanding it through your spirit, which I think that would be, that's yes. why it seems so foreign, you know, when, yes. when say people try to read it. Because someone approached me one time. They said that, um, well, the guy, somebody had told him this. They didn't understand what it meant for eco yoke. Mm -hmm. And that was something I had to really explain to people. Mm -hmm. You know, Christian with Christian, unsaved mm -hmm. with unsaved. Because people blow it out of a portion and make it to what they think it is. Right. But the correct way, the reason for that is because God figured if I was to marry you and you're not saved, we ain't going to want to talk about God. Mm -mm. Yeah. We ain't going to want to talk about God because somebody going to want to fight about it because mm -hmm. I want to talk about the person I love. And um, if you don't want to talk about that person, imagine how upset I am. Yeah. Yeah. Because I want to talk about my Lord and you don't. So mm -hmm. you're keeping me down. So it's very wise to find Equal the yoke. same, mm -hmm. like, Christian beliefs right. and stuff. But if it happens when you're not saved, you didn't know no yeah, better, right. and God and it forgives does. you. It does. So God can make it so that the other person can come that way. Yes. That's why it's very important the way that you live. Right. Mm. You know, you have to be a, 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 a person that showing the world, I am what I'm supposed mm -hmm. to be because there's people watching you. When you think someone's not watching you, they're watching because some of them are studying to learn right. because they want to learn. Some might be shy about it, but I found out a lot of my friends that I work with, they start to sneak to go to church. <laughs> well, I think also the word talks about that as a, a married woman, our, 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 I think it says chaste, um, just how we respond and, and act and love. Mm -hmm. That's right. That that's how Conquer we win all. the soul to for our husbands to know who God is. And when we're talking about saved, we're talking about um, being eternally committed and, and being in a relationship with God forever after you die. That's right. A lot right. of people don't That's know right. what, when we say saved, what that means. So you're saved from hell, basically, is what that. That's true. Which mm -hmm. is separation from God forever. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. He doesn't want that to happen. Well, your name is not going to be in the book. Amen. Book of life. Important. Yes. I know you talked a little bit about um, this uh, Sounds like we're having an emergency. That's what I was saying. <laughs> That's oh, well, okay. it's going to be it's part okay. of the God program today. Take us, put a That's okay. Of Our emergency <laughs> is with God. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, um, I'm sure he'll let us know if there's something that we mm -hmm. need to tend to. Uh, you were talking earlier, and I think you covered some of this, Linda, when we were talking about what faith is and then what faith is not. Um, I think you hit the head, the, the nail right on the head, um, because it's a lot of the things that I had written down here. Um, Faith is not trying to make God do something for you. You know, mm -hmm. we have to know the will of God. Right. We have to know his word. That's right. right. Um, if we're trying to make God mm -hmm. uh, do something for us, that means that we really don't believe or know his mm -hmm. word. 
you know, because if we knew and believed his word, we would ask, you know, for the things that we know that mm -hmm. he will, you know, fulfill yes, those. Really. Um, the word of God tells yeah. us that all promises of God belong to us. That's right. Because we talked about promises last mm -hmm. night. Don't think we're going to have time for that today on this program, but um, uh, all the promises that are in the Bible are for those through Christ, you know, once you become saved, mm -hmm. that God's promises are there for us. Mm -hmm. um, and we talked a little bit about that last night, but I don't want to get too far into it, but we have to ask according to his word and his will, you know, yes. not just those random, oh, God help me, you know, with this or do that mm -hmm. for me, you know. It's just, it's a journey, you know. This whole thing is a journey, yes, you know, it and it's a faith walk. You know, that's why we're talking about faith. Mm -hmm. um, it's, we, we walk by faith in mm -hmm. this journey with Christ. It's a faith walk. That's right. You don't see, you don't, a lot of times even mm -hmm. know where that next, step is you just have to take it um, take it by faith knowing mm -hmm. that he's gonna have something there to step mm -hmm. on you know I mean that's when I said the Abraham faith versus the Thomas, Thomas. faith you mm -hmm. know Abraham really didn't know a whole lot but he trusted and obeyed trusted. God God said go to this land mm -hmm. what land Lord just go you know mm -hmm. how many of us would have that kind of faith mm -hmm. and obedience mm -hmm. when God says okay just stop and turn and go this way you know, once you're over there anymore, whether that's leaving a job or whatever it might be, it, those are scary things, but that's where the, um, the faith comes from, and the faith's only going to come if you, if you trust and know God. You know, that's you right. can't have faith and trust in something that you don't know. Yeah. That's right. And there's scriptures, um, I, ha I do have it written down here in Galatians 5, 6, that faith works by love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. So if you don't understand God's love, then you might not have, you still might have that little mustard seed That's of right. faith. There yeah, you, you do. You know? <laughs> you do. That's right. Because I say the love conquer all. Yeah. That's very true. Which one was it in Galatians? Galatians 5, 6. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Galatians. Says, There's many in Galatians, is actually. There? Mm -hmm. Not about the love, but other ones, other scriptures about faith in Galatians. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, you know, if you want to bring it home to marriage, you know, our married couples, you know, uh, relationships or mm -hmm. even relationships, you can't trust something that you don't know. And that's, that's right. why hmm. uh, marriages are a journey too, you know, and it's, it's learning to grow together and trust each other um, through that, you know, through that walk together as one. And right. um, a lot of people and don't last. And have to have because, the same beliefs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's that's very important. Very important. Now, there's a lot of people that don't happen in that way. You know, mm -hmm. it just happens a different way. But God is more than able. You God know, can yes. change mm -hmm. and help help mm -hmm. with that and bring it together. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of unequal. Yep. You know, where somebody might got saved um, later and the other mm -hmm. one's still not, or mm -hmm. or this one's here and that one's there. And, and God's going to work all that out. You know, I mean, He loves both of you, and and He's going to work things out together yes. and mm -hmm. keep advancing the. That's right. Relationships, knitting yep. them together. So God will anyway, move somebody that's out of your way if you if they're a hinder to you. Do what God will move a person oh, if they're a hinder oh, yeah. to you right. because you can pray for that person and you show them love, and then if that person becomes so rebellious and hardened where they don't really want to hear or see mm -hmm. what you're trying to show them, the mm -hmm. love of Christ, because you're trying to win their soul, mm -hmm. and all you could do is keep showing them love. Sooner or later, they're gonna break down and say, oh, okay. Yes. If they love you, they're going to break down and say, okay, honey, we, this, I'm going to try this. This is something I never did and I never believed in, but I definitely went and wanted to be a, a person that don't believe in God. Mm -hmm. That's the hardest one because they they're stubborn. They don't want to listen, and I know somebody like that, and I thought to myself, you just got to keep pushing yourself to go do what's right for you mm -hmm. until they come. Mm -hmm. God will bring them, but you are important. Is this important for me to show them mm -hmm. the way? Well, and, that, and that person's faith would witness to her yeah. husband. Yeah, but if they're not putting it into action, it's, it's, it's oh, yeah. dead. Yeah. Faith thought works is dead. Yes, yes. Yep. How do we know we, uh, and we've only got a few minutes left, ladies. I'll just throw that in there so that we know that we're winding down. But how do we know when we are in faith, that we are actually walking in faith? How do we know that? I think when we see the manifestation of what we're uh, believing for appears. The manifestation it means it appears and and you know it only God could have done that anyway and it's just that's how you know you're walking in faith and also because you feel blessed blessed and, and, and at peace yes um, that's what I have just walking around with you you're blessed 
and you're happy. You feel good you're because you know that God, mm -hmm. you know, is giving you what you need to make it, especially yes. in a time like now. And you know it has to be God because it can't be us. That's right. Hmm. You enter into that peace and rest, mm -hmm. and you just know that you know that He's got it, mm -hmm. and this is what you know that you're doing, and He's called you to do, or or whatever that faith issue is right then. Um, you just know that you're at rest because you know God's got it. And there comes the rain. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, that's and we're, gonna, and we're not even that. wet. How about that? we got to roll over our heads. Play, praise God. But, hey, we need those. We need those rain yes. showers, that's for sure. And we're in Wayne County, so, hey, we need some rain in Wayne County. So I'm sure that uh, people are enjoying that as long as they're inside that's true. <laughs> today. Yes, but the ground's true. enjoying it and everything mm -hmm. else as God brings it today so all right ladies a um, couple minutes to go here uh, and we get how do we get faith can we can we get into that one how, how do we get faith why no God gives us the measure of faith well yeah that's the start of it mm -hmm. by the but, reading of the bird there you go that's what I was looking for oh, yes <laughs> That's faith what I was comes by about. hearing. Yes. And hearing by the reading hearing of the bird. Hearing and hearing and hearing and reading over and, and over hearing. Um, yeah, because uh, uh, in Hebrews is a really good place. If you, if you have a Bible and you want to um, read that, go into chapter 11 in Hebrews. That's what they call the faith chapter, mm -hmm. you know, of the, of the heroes of the Old Testament. Um, it's a really good chapter because it talks about each one um, by name, mm. you know, and how they walked with God and were obedient to God. Um, from Abel to Noah to, um, let me see who all they are here, Enoch. Sarah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm. Jacob. It, it goes on down mm -hmm. through that whole chapter mm -hmm. um, and talks about faith of these from back in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. So it's a good place to go read. Yes, right. Right. and now. Tammy says one minute. We're down to <laughs> one minute. So with one minute to go, let me just remind you that we are recording at uh, Fresh Vision at Faith Harvest Fellowship, and that's our church. Um, and we know that this, these doors are always open. God's hands are always open, and we just want to extend that invitation mm -hmm. to you if you don't have a church mm -hmm. family, that you are welcome out here at 9464 East Lincoln Way, Orville, Ohio, to Faith Harvest Fellowship. We thank you for tuning in today to Joy in the Journey. Mm -hmm. Thank you Sue, to Sue and thank you to Linda for being here as we continue to uh, talk about faith and whatever else the Lord puts on our heart. Come back and see us again next week. We'll be right here on Joy in the Journey with more on faith and God's word to encourage you. God bless you. <laughs>